Hey guys, my name is Kelly McCormick. I am a holistic anxiety coach and I wanted to talk with you today about the idea, the question, what is anxiety? So let's talk through, we're going to talk about the definition of anxiety as an emotion. Then I want to talk about the fight or flight stress response. And then we'll, we'll sum it up by asking the question, why are we talking about the definition of anxiety and fight or flight? So let's start with the definition of the emotion of anxiety, right? So this is from Merriam-Webster. I'm just going to read this to you. They define um, anxiety as the apprehensive uneasiness or nervousness usually over an impending or anticipated ill. So this is all of that what-if thinking, that dreading, anticipating negative news or situations, all of that, right? So that makes sense. So the more medical version of the definition of the emotion of anxiety is an abnormal and overwhelming sense of apprehension and fear, often marked by physical signs such as tension, sweating, and increased pulse rate, by doubt concerning the reality and nature of the threat, and by self-doubt about one's capacity to cope with it. So that also resonates with me as a, as a more medical definition because it starts getting into the physical sensations of anxiety and what the emotion of anxiety brings with it. So that, that brings us to the fight or flight stress response. So fight or flight is a term that was coined by Walter B. Cannon, who was a Harvard physiologist in the early 1900s, and he did a lot of work around the physiology of emotions, which is really interesting stuff. So he was looking at animals, and humans are an animal, right? That and and how how animals responded to the emotion of anxiety. So if an animal perceived or was under a real threat or was faced with real danger, he researched and studied what their physiology did, right? What changed inside of them that he could quantify. So things like an increased heart rate, their breathing got shallower and quicker, um, their pupils dilated, their digestive systems slowed down. These were all physiological responses to the emotion of anxiety, that they were under threat, they perceived or were actually under threat or, or in danger. And physiologically, they were having these sensations, right? This is when the adrenaline, the, uh, the hormone of adrenaline gets dumped into our bloodstream and we start this fight or flight stress response. So we've got the definition of anxiety as an emotion and then how our body responds to that emotion, all those physical sensations that change, everything that, that changes inside of our bodies. So why are we talking about this in the first place? Well, when I talk to clients, when I get emails, people are always asking, how can I get rid of anxiety? I don't want to feel anxious. I want this gone. And I don't want anxiety in my life. And I always tell them, the goal here is not to get rid of anxiety. And the first thing that we need to do is to understand what anxiety is. So this is an emotion. We can't get rid of emotions. We can't get rid of anxiety, just like we can't get rid of fear or happiness, or excitement, or anything else, and we wouldn't want to. I know it seems like we would want to, but, but it's on the spectrum of emotions. We want to feel all of the emotions as a full, vibrant, holistic human being, right? So it's not a matter of getting rid of it, but it is a matter of understanding it. And for me, understanding the emotion of anxiety and knowing that this, is, this emotion is a product of all of that what-if thinking, that worrying, that future tripping, and that the physiological responses, the shallow breathing, the hyperventilating, the sweating, how my digestion slows down, all of that is a result of this emotion. So it's... For me, the awareness of just knowing what's going on is so helpful. Bringing awareness to what's happening is super impactful. That helps us understand what's going on so that we're not so scared of it. It helps us understand what's going on so that we don't just want to get rid of it and avoid it and push it away. We can, we can lean into it when we understand what's happening. So remember, anxiety is an uneasiness, a nervousness, usually over an impending or anticipated ill, right? That's the emotion. 
the fight or flight stress response gets activated when we feel anxious and that's what creates all of the physical sensations. Everything is happening exactly as it should happen. In fact, if you think about this biologically speaking, evolutionarily speaking, right, the cavemen that were, that were trying to fight enemy tribes or run from wild animals, they needed this stress response for sheer survival. So things are working exactly as they should work in our body. The goal is to transform our experience of anxiety, not to get rid of it. So I hope this was helpful. I will be back tomorrow with part two in this series about what anxiety is and how we can start to tame and transform it. I hope that this was helpful. If you're interested in more, visit me on my website. The link is either in the comments below or nearby this video somewhere. Come visit me on my website. There's a lot more uh, writings and free resources for you. I will see you there.